Christian, you've been looking to break some kicks all season. How did it feel to do it at that crucial point in the game with those two returns? Um, it felt great. Um, coming in, we knew special teams were was um, something we could beat them on. We got a lot of big guys on a kickoff return, so we knew if we jumped them, we had way more speed than them. So I just feel like we executed well. And on the punt return, it was short, and I feel like the guys just stuck to their blocks great and gave me a seam. So I'm just glad we could execute those plays and change the game in that critical moment. Tristan, did you see that open up on the kickoff return? I mean, it didn't look like it was that wide open, and all of a sudden you're just down the sideline. Well, I think they just the guys did an incredible job of straining. And so once I cut it back up, I saw a double team and just pushed the dude out of my face, and um, I made a cut, and then every guy, uh, I think everybody just stuck on their block, and we are just able to win with speed. So it kind of, it wasn't super open, but with them straining, I was able to hit it and score. Did you take it first? Do you take it personally when someone kicks to you, whether it's a kick or a block? <laughs> uh, most definitely. And, um, I just think um, with the blockers I have and uh, the stats I've put up, you know, I do take it personally, but I wouldn't be able to do it without the guys that block for me every kick out return and punt return. Tristan, you beat a top 15 team against Iowa State today. I mean, the post game locker room, what was that celebration like? Um, I'm really excited. I think guys are just proud. Um, we're, not, we're not shocked. You know, we expected to come in this game and win. I feel like it was a big time game because we were in it. We respect them, their discipline, their tough. We knew it was going to be a hard game, but we're not shocked. We know we've been ready for this moment. We've been preparing for this moment. I'm just proud that we came out and executed. Tristan, what did you learn about your team today? Nothing new. We got hard. We got hard. We had some guys that went down. People had to step up. It was ugly most of the game. I just think guys just did a great job of pushing through, and um, we're just able to fight them off at the last minute and uh, win. And we you got to respect those guys. They play hard, but I don't think anybody let their foot off the gas, and we were able to uh, come out and get the victory. What was the response, trust that you guys had after they took the opening kickoff down and scored? What did that mean, though, for your just confidence of staying through, staying with your plan, and giving yourself a chance? What did that sequence mean to you guys? Um, you know, we just. We just pound the rock every play. So as long as, as long as like no matter what happens, we're just gonna keep pounding. Uh, you, you talked a little bit about the kick return. What did you see on the punt return? Um, the first thing I know is the fight of the ball. Uh, I really, I really didn't check to see if anybody was close to me. Uh, I saw him kick a line drive, so I figured I had space. I really don't know. But uh, once I caught it, um, I was just able to hit a seam and uh, dip in and dip back out and get around the edge. I think the guys did a great job of cleaning it up for them. Preston, you're going to get attention for the kick return and punt return, but what about the onside kick? Is that the best zero, zero yards return you've ever had? I think that's my proudest play. <laughs> um, I just think the, the, the first one we got, you know, they wanted me to stand in front of the kicker, so they want to kick it in the middle, and I shoot out. And um, I just I just thought to myself, I'm like, they just saw their look. So I know they're coming to the middle, so I, I'm just sitting here, and um like we didn't know if I was able to retu- uh, recover it. You didn't, you didn't think about returning it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any blockers. I'm never going to have a blocker. <laughs> how, 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 what is it like to have that thing bouncing your way? They're coming. You know the situation. Is it like a flash? you even numb? Or what's it like? That was just one of those plays you got to make. You know, whether you get hit or not, no matter what happens, you know, you got to try to put the team on your back and don't do anything special. Just make that play. Tristan, there were probably three runs today where I leaned over to the person next to me and I said, Tristan, in the past three years, would have tried to string that ball outside, but he put his foot in the ground and got on the field. How did you make that mentality change into your game this year? Um, I really got to uh, give credit to Coach Juice, you know, for just staying on me day after day. Uh, every time I lined up at practice in the spring or the fall, just saying, get down here, get down here, vertical cut. And um, even Abram, you know, the mentality he runs with is contagious. You know, you love to see it. And um, that's my brother. And I feel like we both do a good job of taking something away from each other's game. And I'm able to take it away from him. So we just feed off of each other. So Coach Juice and Abram just were able to help me with my mentality running down here. Abram, did they do anything to take away what y'all did in that first half? Because y'all went three for three on those first three series. And they didn't have a lot of offense in the second half. So I had to I had to look at more film, but um, I feel like they did a good job of making the plays. You know, we could I think uh, a lot of times we could have made some plays, we beat ourselves, but um, I had to look at more film to see what like what exactly happened. But I think they did do a good job of taking away run lines and uh, just playing the pass.